24-year-old Basil Mehmed arrived in Turkey illegally eight years ago. He managed to get a Turkish ID, but when he brought his wife to the hospital to deliver a baby a few years ago, he was told the documents were fake. I don't have the ID. I'm scared when I'm going to work and going home. My wife and son don't have Turkish IDs either. When I go to immigration, they tell me to go and register in a different city, but there aren't many jobs there. According to the latest official data, there are at least 3.6 million Syrians in Turkey. Of that, 103,000 live in camps, while over half a million more live here in Istanbul. But officials believe the numbers are much higher. Syrians in Turkey were given a temporary protection status under the assumption the war would have ended by now and that they would be able to return home. Under this policy, they are allowed to stay in specific cities or provinces in which they are registered and have access to health care and education. But officials have stopped registering Syrian refugees in big cities like Istanbul, Ankara or Antalya. After Syrians and actors in the field understood this crisis will not easily be over, Syrians began to seek permanent solutions to their needs. That led them to move to cities where they can find more jobs and work. The Interior Ministry says it wants to keep the number of unregistered refugees under control and is sending some of them to camps. It also insists Turkey will not become a center for illegal migration. Istanbul's governor's office has set a deadline of August 20 for Syrians to return to the cities where they are registered. Following that decision, rights groups gathered in Istanbul for a news conference and said it was unfair to force Syrians to go back to the cities where they are registered in and that they should have been informed earlier to make plans. Families now risk being split. Our state is trying to preserve public order. You can't repatriate them to Syria, but you can send them to a third country that the foreign protection law allows you to. Turkey is facing pressure on many fronts, from a declining economy to a political and regional crisis. The government says it does not want any potential risk from unregistered Syrians or those with a criminal record. But rights groups and others urge the authorities to look into reports of Syrians being forced to leave and accusations of police mistreatment. A few nationalists disrupted Saturday's NIVS conference. They say they want all Syrians to leave Turkey. Sinem Kusolo, Al Jazeera, Istanbul.